I've already shuffled and I'll be going through the recent past, the present, challenge, and outcome. So Cancer, in the recent past, we have the Moon and then we have Four of Wands. Now with this Moon card, in the recent past you were probably feeling really psychic and maybe intuitive. And it would have been important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you were not sure where it was coming from. Also, not that you would have needed to be, to be mistrusting, but it would have been helpful for you to realize that all was not what it seemed. If you felt that you could not trust someone, then you probably could not. You needed to go with your gut instincts. And if you were waiting on an answer from someone, it probably took longer than you would like for it to. So I'm picking up that you had to stay patient for something that you were waiting on in the recent past. When this moon card talks about love and relationships, it's a highly emotional time. So, um, with a relationship, very emotional. Things could have gotten overheated or uncomfortable in some type of situation. Uh, so, if you needed to take a break, or that's what you did, or that's what you felt like doing. And also, you probably um, knew that it was important not to make assumptions and fight fairly if you were going to fight at all. Pick your battles and it was important for you to treat your person, treat your lover like a friend and not to be in too much, too much of a hurry to end this connection or the connection you were in. This was probably not a good time to end it or to do anything drastic. That's what you get with the moon card, and it's paired with this four of wands. Now, there could have been um, some type of special event that you went to in the recent past, and it was much more fun than you were anticipating. If you had a business, it was probably going really well for you, and you, were very, you felt really proud of yourself, and others were proud of you too. So... This card, it could be about keeping your wits about yourself. Uh, it's a positive card in the reading, to get in a reading. It does show a need, like I said, for you to keep your wits about you. And that you probably should treat yourself to some fun if that's what you were not doing. You were in a building up phase in the recent past. And it was important for you not to rest on your laurels. You also could have been moving your place of residence in the recent past with this Four of Wands. When it talks about love and relationships, it indicates that it becomes a it became a whole lot more committed if you were involved with someone. Uh, it, it could have been potential marriage. Um, and if you were looking for love, you were, if there's some single cancers out there, and you were looking for love in the recent past, this card is showing that special events like bar mitzvahs, commitment ceremonies, things like that, they were great places to meet someone special. So hopefully you got out there and you, you made yourself available. So for the recent past, Cancer, this moon card and... Four of Wands is basically saying that uh, you probably did a lot of partying, a lot of celebrating. And if you were in a relationship, it probably became a whole lot more committed. So this was a good, good time for you in the recent past. But it's with this moon card, and the moon card is about um, po 
possibly some type of feeling that there was some type of deception. Something or someone that you were dealing with, you felt like they were wearing a mask. It felt like there was some type of untruth. Uh, and you, you probably um, felt like your instincts, they were correct. And you were most, most definitely on point with a moon card. But the way you dealt with this um, situation of deception was by celebrating, was by going out a lot, just trying to um, have fun. But then if you were in a relationship, it became a whole lot more committed So I'm picking up, this might have been you. Maybe you, Cancer, you were the one not being um, totally truthful to your person because there was some mistrust there. It could have been you or your person, but the relationship became a lot more committed and there was a lot of celebrating. But still, you felt like there was some type of deception. It could have been with your person or with the situation. So that's what we have for you in the recent past. Let's take a look at the present time. Now we have this. It's the, what is that? Those are the swords. Four of swords. And it's paired with the six of cups. That's what that is. See those four swords and those two dogs? Four dogs and that man, he's, he's on his back and he's out in the cold snow. Well, Cancer, that's what we got for you coming up in April. Well, that's only a part of it. We'll get through the rest of the reading. Now, this card, this four of swords, it's signifying a need for a break could be feeling like you need to break from normal life. This can also mean that you or someone in your life, they may withdraw for a time. Keep in mind, this, this withdrawal is not going to be permanent. It also can mean things like, this is an, an example, okay? It could mean illness, time in the hospital. It could mean jail. Those are examples. Okay, so it's not what it is. It's, those are just some types of withdrawals. They could just be going to the parents' house for a week or a couple of days. But they're coming back with this Four of Swords. This card, it signifies to give people their space. You, Cancers, you're probably in need of some, some time and space to yourself also. Others uh, could be pushing too hard for bits of your time and attention in April. So don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when someone says no to you, take them at their word. Pushing in this circumstance is going to be asking for trouble. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, it'll be asking for trouble. You might be laid out, knocked out on the ground. So. Someone wants a break, give it to them. So, that's the Four of Swords. And it's paired with the Six of Cups, which is about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always, connected with children or childhood. It's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days, because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then guess what, Cancers? If you start to do that, guess what happens? I'll give you a, I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. So if we start thinking that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So... Just remember, we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. 
But if you start thinking that the best of all the years have gone by, then it can easily become a self-fulfilling prophecy, and you don't want to do that. So, for your present time, coming up this April, could be towards the end of March, could go a little bit after April. Uh, just Four of Swords and, five, and Six of Cups. Four of Swords has got you needing a break. Some type of rest. You need rest after some type of struggle. Yeah, you're going to feel like you want some rest. You might want to retreat. You're going to feel like you need some renewal. Maybe some solitude just to recover. Um, and you'll be thinking about happy memories, probably from the past. Um, you'll be um, thinking about what was familiar, what was comfortable. So, I don't know if you might be experiencing some anxiety like a lot of us are because of this virus, but you'll be thinking um, about how um, sweet things used to be and you'll be wanting some rest so hopefully it's because this um, it's not because of you went through a hard time with this virus situation like a lot of us are I know I'm experiencing some anxiety um, so I don't know what your situation is going to be why you need some rest after some type of struggle but uh, you'll be looking back also, thinking, wow, how nice things used to be. So, that's what we have for the present time. Alright, so let's take a look at the challenge. We have the Empress and the Nine of Wands. Now, this Empress, uh, you see this pretty green lady up there. She doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things and her own idea of what is right and what's wrong in any and all endeavors. That does not mean she'll always get her way, though. But she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. She can signify coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking that will always mean financially. There are many types of wealth and riches. We all know that. And just know that the Empress, the Empress can encompass all of them. All of them. Not just money, but love, riches in every way. Okay, so that's the Empress and it's paired with the Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands is about anxiety and worry, being burdened and keyed up over some concerns. The first and best step is to try to take a deep breath, calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you must, because at least some of the worries will very likely turn out to be imaginary, all in your head. There's a lot of things you created up there that's not really going on. So get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself, what is the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? Comfort yourself, and if you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it. Asking for help is the mark of a strong person. So basically for your challenge, it looks like you've still got some, some worry and some stress and some um, anxiety going on from the present time. So... With this empress there, it's about this worry that you have, the stress and anxiety that you have. It turns around in a good way with this empress. Because with the empress, things become a lot sweeter, a whole lot better. Um, things turn around 
that makes you feel abundant. So it's about coming with Zimpress, it's about coming abundance. So it looks like your, your worries are turning around for the better. Um, you start to have a, a deep love for something. It could be a person, it could be a situation. Okay, so things become a lot sweeter, a lot truer, and you, 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 all of a sudden you start to feel like you're coming, you're coming much better. You're coming abundance. That's that's slamper. It's coming abundance in every type of way. Like I said, the Empress uh, can encompass any or all types of riches it could be in life it could be in money and that's you so this anxiety it turns around yeah you start to have a deep love for someone or something that happens and this is a good thing so i like that i like that for you cancer it turns around and your anxiety hopefully it it slacks off. It looks like it will with the Empress. Uh, so that's your challenge. And yeah, let's take a look at the outcome. Now the outcome is the Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups. This Four of Cups is about wishful thinking. And I say this because this man, he's sitting on the ground, all right? His hand is bleeding. You can't see that, but he's got red blood on his hand. So he, I guess he cut his hand or whatever. And he's stuck there. He could bleed to death, but he can't get out of his head. So he's just doing wishful thinking. And he's just stuck in his head about wishing his life away. So this card, it reminds us to pay attention to what is now and count the many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry about what could be because it's all too easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have so be sure that you're counting your blessings and don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away because a lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. So put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So that explains the Four of Cups and it's paired with this Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a very powerful, positive card in the tarot, especially when it comes to love, happiness, and affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings and Although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things are looking up in a great way with the Saints of Cups. People will respond to you with happiness, love, and goodwill more than usually at this time. And you'll be feeling really good about life in general. And this is a good time to make friends. And if you're in a relationship, it could take a turn for the better with this Ace of Cups. Yeah, so for the outcome, this Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So, um, you might find yourself you know, wishing for a little bit more than what you have because it looks like things turned around for the better as the Empress for you. You're not stuck in anxiety anymore, but you still find yourself wishing things were a little bit better. You know, you're just wanting more. Okay, the Empress bought you into abundance, but you're still wanting, you're wanting more, so you're wishing you're kind of wishing and not really counting your blessings. You're not counting the blessings that, that you got as the Empress. 
So you got to stay mindful to count your blessings. And thank God for what you do have. And stop focusing on what you don't have. Okay. Sometimes it helps if you just wake up every morning and thank God for three things. And then you'll realize that you're really blessed and you don't need to focus on what you don't have. So every morning, just thank God for three things. You know, three things and then you'll, like I said, you'll realize. You'll start to focus on your blessings. And this should be easy to do because you've got this Ace of Cups here. It's bringing a lot of love, happiness, and affection. And sometimes a new beginning is coming in. A new positive beginning. And it's going to make you feel really warm. Okay? So... You, you can have a deep attraction for someone, or someone could have a deep attraction for you, or it could be a situation that you you just have a, you're just happy about. Okay, if you know it's not a person, it's some type of situation or something, maybe something that you're working towards, and it brings a new beginning, and it's going to make you feel really warm with this Ace of Cups. So you're, you're, um, what's most important is to count your blessings because uh, it looks like a blessing is coming in with this this Ace of Cups. Not only with the Ace of Cups, but as the Empress. So, that's what I have for you, Cancer. I just want to say thank you so very much for, for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that things are going well for you at this time. If you're experiencing some difficulties during this this challenging time that we're having, uh, leave a comment. You don't have to leave a comment about this reading, but talk about what's going on with yourself because um, I invite you to share your feelings on this platform. What, what are you going through? What are your thoughts about, um, you know, situations, how you're feeling, about the things that are going on? now a lot of people are stressed out like i said i know i have experienced some stress and just talk about it um, because a lot of times you can um you may meet someone uh, while talking about it in the comments in the description box below you can talk about it and you may meet someone that could help you that can encourage you and lift you up so leave comments guys um that's what I need you guys to do. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Okay, you may, you may make a new friend. So start to comment and um, talk about how you're feeling. It also helps to um, relieve any anxiety that I'm picking up that's in this reading. Okay, because other people will respond and they'll, then they'll give you, you know, some feedback. And you, like I said, you could make a new friend that will help you along this uh, challenging time. So once again, Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that uh, April is a beautiful month for you. And once again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. 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 Day.